it's Christina. Welcome back to another one of my videos. Today I'm going to be showing you the key to applying liquid lipstick. Liquid lipsticks have been around for a little over a year now and it doesn't seem like they're going away anytime soon. I know that when I first started applying liquid lipsticks, I had a little bit of trouble applying them because I was just putting too much on my lips and I would get a really harsh line and then when I would try to clean it up then it would just smear all over my face so I'm gonna be showing you how to avoid all that how to really get the perfect application when it comes to liquid lipstick I really like liquid lipsticks just because they're matte they last pretty much all day long much better than regular lipsticks so if you're interested in this video then make sure you keep watching also don't forget to subscribe liquid lipsticks or lipstick period you definitely want to exfoliate your lips you want a very smooth surface I tend to have very dry lips I have a lot of dead skin on my lips all the time so I kind of try to exfoliate my lips almost every day or every other day for example not anything too abrasive but when I get out the shower I just lightly rub my towel against my lips to get any dead skin off and I can always see like all the dead skin on my lip but it definitely makes a difference in my liquid lipstick application or once a week I'll use this which is an exfoliator this is an elf lip exfoliator you can buy this for about three dollars at Target I have like none left so you can see but it's like a sugar scrub you can also make this at home just get sh some sugar honey olive oil and make your own scrub I think one of my first videos is actually a sugar scrub so it's kind of embarrassing but if you want to see it I'll leave a link for it Alright, so not only is this a lot of sugar on my lips, but it's also a lot of dead skin. So I'm just going to go ahead and grab a towel and wipe this off, and then my lips will be very smooth. Not only is exfoliating your lips going to make your lips smooth, but it's also going to make them a little bit more plump because exfoliating them, it just brings all the blood to the surface, so it gives you more of a plump appearance. And who doesn't want plump lips? So the key to getting the perfect liquid lipstick application is to next use a lip liner. Once you get a little bit more comfortable with liquid lipstick, you probably won't need a lip liner anymore, but I definitely recommend starting out with a lip liner if you're new because just like when we were younger and we would color, well, I know I used to do this, I always still outlined with a crown and then colored in with the crown. Um, that's just what I like to do. Even though the black lines were still there, I would still use like whatever color, outline, and color it in. So that's what I'm going to do now. So you want to make sure that you have a sharp lip pencil. This is my favorite lip sharpener. This is the Anastasia one. You can get it at Macy's for about $6 at your impulse counter. And I'm using MAC Whirl Lip Liner. When it comes to applying my lip liner, I always start in my cupid's bow area, which is kind of where your lips start to bend, I guess. What is the word that I'm looking for? So I usually don't start in the inner corner, I just start from like midway and bring it in. And I'm using like the side, I'm not using the very tip of my pencil, I'm just using the side. And then you just want to connect the inner corner of your lips to that line that you just drew. Do not forget the inner corner of your lips. When I first started wearing liquid lipstick, that is probably the one spot I would always forget. It doesn't look as put together, put it that way. So now I'm gonna go ahead and do the bottom lip. This time I am gonna start in the corner. Alright, so there you go. That's what my lip liner application looks like, and now we're just going to fill it in. So now, the key to liquid lipstick. When it comes to liquid lipsticks, it's really all about how you apply it with the applicator. I'm going to be using this liquid lipstick. This is by Anastasia Beverly Hills in the color Veronica. This is probably my favorite shade and one of my favorite liquid lipsticks. Anastasia has great liquid lipsticks as well as Kat Von D. If you're looking for a more affordable liquid lipstick, then I would recommend ColourPop. Alright, so what I do is I always make sure that I get off any excess because if you have too much excess, then it's going to push out 
on the sides of your lips and it's just gonna look sloppy and it's gonna be too much of a harsh line so what I like to do is first I point it and I like to do the corner of my mouth again I like to outline my lips with this and then I'll fill it in in the end When I get to my cupid's bow, I kind of turn it a little bit to go with my lip. So again, I'm going to do the corner, I'm going to put it on its side. And then I just bring it in. The reason why I put it on the corner is because that's where it's the thinnest and it's easy to apply. Then I just fill it all in. The smaller the strokes, the better. So then, again, I start from the outer corner and I bring it in. If you mess up or anything, you can use concealer to clean it up. Like, for example, I kind of messed up right here. So I like using the LA Girl Pro Concealers to kind of clean up because I already have an applicator at the end. I'm just going to use it right here. And then this is a nice thin brush. It's perfect for making straight lines like I like to use it underneath my brows and also for this. And that is how you get the perfect liquid lipstick application. Really the key is to make sure that you're wiping off any excess. You don't want any excess product on the applicator. And also it's all about how you hold it and where you position it on certain parts of your lips. I don't really have big lips so it really didn't take that much effort. But I can promise you in the beginning I really did not know what I was doing when it came to liquid lipstick. I would just take it out the tube and apply it straight on. And it was really affecting how my liquid lipstick come out, would come out. I would get these really bad harsh lines right here. So I really hope you guys found this video helpful. Make sure you give it a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you guys in my next video. I'm going to actually be reviewing the Ofra Cosmetics Liquid Lipstick. So if you're interested in this video, then make sure you keep watching.